Kobayashi, who had that, uh, that problem early in the session. And then the edge on, uh, on Espana uh, at the end. Will there be any ongoing chat about this guy, that uh, allegation of, uh, of blocking that uh, was spoken about by both David and, of course, Martin? 37 degrees at the beginning of the session on track. 18 was the ambient temperature. Uh, don't forget, of course, that Pirelli are running both the soft and hard compound tyres here of uh, their dry range of tyres, but it is a new generation uh, hard compound tyre. So we get ready to take you back with green now for Q2. Let's take you back to the BBC commentary team. Tomorrow, between 11th and 17th. And uh, let's see who can make it through to the top 10 shootout. Mr. Ecclestone there, arrived at the circuit today. Lots and lots of speculation going on about the future ownership of Formula One and he will be right in the middle of it. Schumacher takes to the track. A good point made to me on uh, Twitter is, well, Kobayashi's not within 107%. Uh, can he still start the Grand Prix? Yes, he can, because he would have done other laps in free practice to demonstrate that he's not slow, he doesn't have a bad car, uh, that he, he, uh, he did it, for example, this morning, he did a 127.9. So uh, that rule is to stop, basically, cars that are just not competitive enough being in the Grand Prix, that are not ready to take part in the Grand Prix in terms of, of sensible pace. So Kobayashi will start the race from 24. He has got loads of fresh tyres. He is a great overtaker, as we know, David. So he could be very exciting to watch in tomorrow's race. If we remember back to Mark Webber's performance in uh, the last Grand Prix in China. He started 18. He uh, had five new sets of tyres at his disposal and finished third. So it will be interesting to watch Kobayashi tomorrow. He's certainly up for an overtake, isn't he? Yeah, he definitely is. And uh, this is a, be a good place to do it with the DRS rear wing. Although it's going to be harder for them to use it in the race. We'll get into that a little bit more because they've got to be within a second having exited turn eight and uh, cascading down the hill. So uh, we'll, we'll see how that works. I don't think it's going to be as effective as China. Ted's got some news on Mercedes. Yeah, just, well, firstly on Mercedes, uh, you've got to watch out for Nico Rosberg when it gets to qualifying three. They're looking much more uh, in the game. We've got 32 points to Ferrari, 13 points to Red Bull. Ferrari leading the race right now. And uh, Mercedes, both Rosberg and Schumacher, have gone out for a run on the hard tyres now, whereas all the big guys in the bigger teams...